Welcome back, my name's Andy. So the last few fortune videos I did were ages ago now, but I'll try and put links either around my head or in the description below. But the last couple of things we made were the centre punch and the slitting chisel. Now, you won't have known this, but we were actually working towards a goal and a project and that is going to be a toasting fork. So let's get cracking. So we're going to start with approximately 12 inches of 3 quarter by 1 8 flat mild steel. Well that's 20 by 3 mil. First, guys. Okay, guys, as ever, safety first, eyes and ears. Okay, so we're going to start by going to the far end of the anvil. We're going to isolate the front inch and a half ones or so. And we're just going to raise it up on an angle, hit with the toe of our hammer, the front part. Okay, so we forged the, the shoulders, if you like, which will become part of the tongs. We've isolated enough material for the prongs themselves. Now we'll go back and draw around the handle. I want that to be approximately know, 8 mil where the transition is. I don't know what that is in inches, a number of sixteenths, I don't know, fractions near. So we'll draw all this out. And then we'll come back, we'll split the tongs, split the prongs rather, and then we'll uh, finish up the handle as well. Right. Now, it doesn't really matter how you want to draw this out. I'm going to do it over the horn. That's the way I like to do it personally, but just do whatever works for you. to approximately here. This still needs to thin down slightly and we'll uh, come back to the, the end of the handle. Okay guys, so we've started drawing it out. We're going to continue working up to the, the back. I want the stock to remain close to its original thickness at the, at the back of the handle and then as I said before tapering all the way along to approximately 8mm at the end. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so that I, when I cut it from the parent bar I can flip the end round and I've got enough material that I can hold this end without having to use tops. So let's crack on! turning the material at all times. This is so that I can keep it flat this way and straight this way. Going to be just going to try to come in behind and 
thin this section of the material. Now, we're almost there. Going to uh, do that once more, and then we'll work our way back again. Notice that it's slightly kinked at the minute. Don't worry too much about getting it perfect straight away. We've got to take another a longer heat, try and uh, clean up the taper. Bit of a lump here. We'll clean all that up, and then we'll go back into the uh, to the end. a much longer handle you would start with more material uh, obviously if you wanted a shorter handle you could start with less material but I'm happy with that length there I'm going to come in and cut the cut the bar possibly around here you could use your slitting chisel for this I'm just going to zip it with the uh, cutting disc on an angle grinder just for speed's sake and then I'll uh, Come in and we'll start working this in. First of all, I'm going to cool it off. And lose my chalk plane. Okay, so we've now got 15 inches of material. I'm going to work this end first, get that sorted, and then we'll go in and we'll do the split bar in the middle, and then forge the forks. For those of you that are wondering why I'm forging the forks last, that's purely because holding the forks while trying to forge the little scroll at the end is just going to be a little bit uncomfortable. And this forging the scroll first will just be much more comfortable to hold while I'm working on the forks. Okay, so we're going to come to the near side of the anvil, approximately three quarters of an inch to an inch, lift it up on a slight angle like that, hit in, create a shoulder, and then we're going to forge this material out. Set this whole thing into the parent bar. 
Am I going to that? Probably not. I'll we'll just crack on. Okay, so we're going to cool the very tip of the scroll so that we don't damage it. We come to the horn of the anvil, start the fur edge, and just work it around. Alternatively, you could use a pair of scrolling tongs if you've got them. Some people don't, so I'm just going to show you a little more. I'll take another heat, clean that up. Cool the scroll again. Gentle, gentle taps. Okay, so now what we need to do is come in and split this down the middle so we can create the forks of the toasting fork. Now, in a previous video, you saw me make a steel saddle that goes over the anvil. I will try and link that here somewhere, but that particular one was for my travelling anvil. This one I use a piece of plate with a piece of box section welded in that just drops into my hardy like that. And then I do all of my cutting on here and then there's no chance of wrecking either my anvil face or my tool. Okay, before we make any cut, I'm going to use a pair of calipers to find the centre line. I know this isn't the best thing to do with these calipers, but ultimately they're cheap, easy to replace, and I'm not really that fussed. So now that we've got the center line, I'm going to use the center punch that we made in a previous video to mark where I want the split to stop, and then we'll get it hot, we'll come in, and we'll uh, start the split. <laughs> Now that we've got our centre punch, I'm going to mark the centre line cold, just a slight heat mark. Okay, we've got it hot. We're going to find our centre line. You might ask, why are we slitting it rather than using the cutting disc on a grinder that's because ultimately if you practice this on something like a toasting fork you can then apply the the same skill to something else and ultimately you become a better blacksmith Okay, so you can see I've not got it quite on the centre line. This prong is definitely thinner than this by quite some way. That's not really a problem. We'll just come in with a file, clean up the rag, and then when we forge the prongs out, this one will end up being slightly longer. Again, not a problem. We'll just cut it off as we need to. Now let's move over to the vise, clean up this rag, and then we'll start forging it. Okay, I'm using the same chisel, just going to hammer down in. Okay, so you see me in the vise split the tongs or the prongs away from each other already. That's so that we can get in and start to force them. Now you 
you'll notice I've straightened these off again when they're unfinished. That's because there's still quite a rag right down in the base where the prongs meet. So what I'm going to use to clean that up. So all this is is a chisel that I've bought from a hardware store. I've ground off the point, radius the whole thing so it's nice and smooth. And then what I'll do is I'll come in this way. We'll uh, clean up that rag there and create a nice smooth transition between the two prongs. At the minute, it's still quite uneven. We've got to get that lump off the corner. And this one is going to be quite a lot thinner, so we'll, we'll sort all that out as we go. the uh, forks away from each other again, we can continue working on them. So, as ever on camera, things are a lot more difficult. The prongs are off-center and we've got a little bit of a lump on either side that I want to dress out. So I'm going to go to the horn and we'll clean all that off and start cleaning up the prongs. Cheers guys. Okay, so there you go. That's how I make a very simple toasting fork. So, now what I'll do is I'll uh, give it a coat of oil. That'll be a food safe oil, something like olive oil or uh, vegetable oil maybe. Just to give it a bit of protection. So yeah. That's how I do it. How do you guys do it? Why don't you uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you do something differently, that would be really cool. Now, as ever, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, you should subscribe, that'd be great. I'm also far more active on Facebook and Instagram than I am on YouTube, so if you don't already, you should follow me there, I'll put the links below. Um, if you found the video helpful, and you uh, have a go and make your own toasting fork, why don't you take a picture and post it on Instagram and tag me, I'm blacksmith underscore Andy, that'd be really cool, I'd love to see what you guys are making, and um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time, take it easy.